Hi, I'm Patrick Orman, AMGA instructor team member, and I'm here to talk about setting up a raising system. So my climber has fallen down below a roof, and the easiest thing here is going to be to bring him, bring him up the short distance to the ledge that I'm on. So I'm going to start with a three to one system. So I'll build this, and then we'll go through and count out what the me mechanical advantage is. So because we're on this plate device here, the, the auto blocking plate, I'm going to use that as the progress capture. It's not the most efficient system, but efficiency in this case is acting quick and getting my climber up. So this is a super simple, quick system. I just need some sort of rope grab. And I'm going to put this on. I'm just going to use a prusik hitch here. Make sure that's all well dressed and that it's biting. And I can just put a simple non locking carabiner on there. Slide this down as far as I can reach. And now I'm going to try to pull up on this. And that takes quite a bit of work. So I have to if I have to haul someone a distance, I'm gonna need a little more advantage. But this works well if someone's struggling with a move and you just want to give them a good boost. So this is a three to one system. And let's look and see how that works out. So just speaking in numbers here, if I'm pulling with a force of one, I'm always going to start counting from where I'm pulling. So pulling with a force of one here, anytime the rope goes through a redirect, that force is going to be equal on the opposite side there. So force of one here, force of one here, and that redirect is going to double the force at the redirect. So that puts a force of two here. So I'll keep tracing through the system then. One on this side, another redirect at my progress capture. So one out the other side. So I've got one, one, one. Comes down plus two makes three to one. So three to one is super quick and easy. Um, and that's going to give someone a good boost if they need that.